Pop quiz. Which sunscreen offers the best sun protection? The one with SPF 30, 50, 100? The real answer is the one you will actually use because SPF isn't the only indicator of protection from the sun. Truth is, the sun protection factor rating, aka SPF, primarily tells you how well a product protects you from ultraviolet B or UVB rays, the rays that cause sunburn and redness, especially the kind you see a day later. Sunburn is a direct indicator of harm and increases the risk of skin cancer, but UV protection is about more than just UVB protection and avoiding sunburn. The real problem? That SPF number tells you almost nothing about protection from ultraviolet A or UVA rays, the rays that go deeper, causing premature aging, wrinkles, immune suppression, and increased risk of skin cancer. High SPF products can be misleading. While SPF 100 sounds like it would provide double the protection of SPF 50, the actual difference is small, just about 1% more UVB protection. Many high SPF sunscreens also rely on SPF boosters, which may inflate SPF numbers without truly improving broad spectrum protection. Plus, those sky-high SPF numbers can create a false sense of security. People often think they're more protected than they actually are, so they skimp on the reapplication and stay in the sun longer. So instead of picking the sunscreen with the highest SPF and calling it a day, use a broad spectrum sunscreen with SPF between 30 and 50 and make sure to reapply. To find the right sunscreen, go to ewg.org sunscreen for our recommendations.